Kim Kardashian speaks on Kanye West being abusive towards her. It's no secret now what is going on between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Their divorce has been officially announced after almost 7 years of marriage and it seems there is no way that they will eventually get back together. Kim was supposedly the one fighting hard to save the marriage as she wanted to stay together for the kids, but it seems she finally gave up when she noticed Kanye wasn't willing to compromise so she eventually was the first one to file the papers. None of them has spoken up about the real reason for the divorce but it seems that in a recent episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim finally opened up about how living with Kanye had become unbearable. But what exactly did she say about her relationship with Kanye and why can't it be safe? The internet exploded on February 19th when Kim Kardashian officially filed for divorce from her husband and father of her kids, Kanye West, with whom she had been together for almost 7 years, marking the end of Kimye. Since the divorce, there have been plenty of theories on why Kim was divorcing Kanye, with the majority of them centered around Kanye's worsening mental health and public outbursts that she thought would eventually damage her reputation and future career in law. Kanye's meltdowns have been very well captured on camera, like that time he went on stage and ruined Taylor Swift's moment, or that time he punched a photographer in the airport. However, nothing compares to what he did in the summer of 2020, which became the final straw for Kim finally making her decide to file for divorce. Everything started on July 4th, when Kanye announced his candidacy on a tweet which read, We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision and building our future. I am running for President of the United States, hashtag 2020 vision. In an interview with Forbes, he was asked to explain further his point of view and the ideas he wanted to represent. Among the several controversial stances he presented, he said, Planned Parenthoods have been placed inside cities by white supremacists to do the devil's work. He also claimed the Democrats were threatening black people by saying, that's what the Democrats are doing, emotionally to my people, threatening them to the point where this white man can tell a black man, if you don't vote for me, you're not black. But things got even worse after the Forbes interview when he decided to kick off his campaign with a rally on July 19th in South Carolina. The event was only open to registered guests and Kanye appeared on stage wearing a bulletproof vest with the number 2020 shaved in the back of his head. Kanye then went on to speak for over an hour with no microphone and being extremely emotional. The whole rally felt strange and there was a clear weirdness in the environment. You could clearly see even Kanye's entourage felt creeped out about the whole thing. However, one of the most shocking moments of the night was when Kanye touched the topic of abortion and revealed that his wife Kim almost aborted their first child North. The news were completely unexpected by fans because none of them thought they would find out about it in a presidential rally and also neither Kanye nor Kim had ever discussed it publicly. But he didn't stop there. He went from talking about abortion to speaking about 19th century abolitionist Harriet Tubman who famously rescued around 70 enslaved people. However, his opinion about her wasn't on the positive side as he proclaimed she never freed anyone. But unsurprisingly, this wasn't the first time Kanye said controversial comments about slavery. Back in 2018, after publicly supporting Trump and calling him a brother in a tweet, he left everyone completely shocked when he claimed slavery was a choice in an interview with TMZ. But how did Kim take it when she found out about Kanye revealing that they were close to aborting North? Well, first of all, Kanye wasn't done yet. Immediately after he finished his presidential rally, he took to Twitter to make more shocking statements about the Kardashian family. Most of his tweets were deleted afterwards, but in those tweets Kanye accused Kim and her mom Chris of trying to lock him up like in the movie Get Out. He wrote, Kim was trying to fly to Wyoming with a doctor to lock me up like on the movie Get Out because I cried about saving my daughter's life yesterday. He then went on to call his mother-in-law a white supremacist and went on with a rampage writing, Everyone knows the movie Get Out is about me. He then started firing shots at Kim by mentioning her Playboy past and her infamous sex tape with Ray J in a tweet that read, I put my life on the line for my children that North's mother would never sell her sex tape. And another one that said, 
I put my life on my god that North's mom would never photograph her doing Playboy and that's on god. I'm at the ranch, come and get me. In January 2021, a source spoke to Page Six and confirmed it was precisely these tweets and what happened at the rally. What made Kim decide to end her marriage for the sake of her kids and her own sanity? Kim was apparently heartbroken when she found out about Kanye's outburst and a source said she knows this is something North will see when she gets older and that's heartbreaking. Even Kanye's fans weren't with him on this one and were not in the agreement that he spoke about something so personal and jeopardized his relationship with Kim and the kids. Kim initially didn't publicly address Kanye's comments and tried to handle the matter privately. But now, on a recent episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kim finally talks about what happened. Kim wanted to play cool for the cameras and only referred to Kanye's outburst as a little bit prostrating and claimed she tried to distance herself from what was happening on the internet to what was happening at home. Kim also admitted she didn't want to give any private details about her relationship or her problems to the public and said, It's no secret that everyone sees things in the media about my life with Kanye. But I've always been really respectful and not talking about issues that Kanye and I have. I mean, you guys clearly see them on Twitter, so I'm still gonna choose to not really talk about it here. In another scene of the episode, Kim is seen outside talking on the phone discussing her plans of going to Wyoming to see Kanye while her mom and sisters are inside enjoying a meal. During this time, Chris said to Courtney, I just feel like she's struggling a bit. With all this stuff going on, I don't know how she's dealing with the stress of it all. She's always the calm in the storm and she's got a lot on her plate. Even though Kim seemed sad and worried during the whole episode, she then said in another scene that she had it all figured out and that our marriage would be okay. But it clearly wasn't okay as the divorce papers have been filed. Also, in a new episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, the truth seems to be finally revealed and Chloe confessed during her confessional that she noticed Kim was struggling a lot during that time, especially behind the cameras. In another scene, Kim was seen crying while she was discussing her relationship with Kanye. Kim said she felt stuck for years in her marriage and explains she isn't the wife Kanye wants her to be. She also revealed Kanye wanted her to move to Wyoming, but that she couldn't do it and couldn't keep going with the constant fighting that was going on between them, and that she felt like a loser and a failure for having to end her marriage. Fans, on the other hand, divided their opinions, and while some of them supported Kim, others went to defend Kanye claiming he didn't have a strong support system like Kim does. A fan wrote, All the negative talk about Kanye being bipolar, but unlike Kim, who may be a bit histrionic, Kanye doesn't have an army of family to hold his hand, pat his back, listen to his lamentation, and dry his tears as he fights through his emotional pain. But now I want to know what you think. Do you believe Kanye's outburst was the real reason Kim decided to end her marriage? Or was it only an opportunity for her to leave after having plenty of reasons? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and until next time.